I've been tight. Yeah, but that's all, folks. <laughs> Cut. Okay. Welcome back to another edition of Trial by Fire. I have Michelle joining me once again. If you've been watching any of my videos from a few months ago or so, or whatever, I've been taste testing some interesting sauces, random uh, sample packs from Heat from the Hammer. Yes. I have four bottles left mm -hmm. out of the 10 pack. I don't know what these are. I just put them down with the label faced away. I can see the backs of them, which is what you can see. I have no idea what we're going to try. Mm -hmm. But so, we're getting down to the last four. So, Michelle, go ahead and pick one of them, and we'll, we'll try it. I'm trying, yeah, just trying to figure out where they, okay. I'm okay. going with this one. Okay. You don't want so, anybody to see it yet? Nope. So we'll move this stuff out of the way. So. No, it looks like I'm threatening the audience. Sure. Okay, let's see what we got here. <clears throat> so this is the... Buffalo Bound. Ooh, I do like myself it's, a good buffalo it's sauce. It's a wing sauce. Do you like a good buffalo sauce? Um, I gotta find that in here, right? Yep. It's not up, but I don't want it, unfortunately. The balsamic. That's all right. I got my eyeballs. <laughs> buffalo Bound. There we go. Do you want me to read anything on here? Yeah, is there any blurb for it or... Uh, inspired by Val's hometown memories of chicken wings, we have created our own version of Buffalo's famous wing sauce flavor. Nice. Okay. Any heat rating or anything on it? Hmm. I don't see any heat rating. Yeah, I don't see any heat okay. rating. I don't think it has a heat rating on there. I know it has it on, on the back. It's in... It does say shake well before using. So the Buffalo Bound actually won third place at Best Wing Sauce nice. in the 2022 Apex Sauce Awards. Never heard of the Apex Sauce Awards, but it won 2022's Best Wing Sauce. And it is at the, let's see, Buffalo Bound. It is right, if you can see the, the chart here, Buffalo Bound is right up here, right near the top. It's actually the third one down. It's just from the in between the orange and the red change. Okay, so it should be a, a, you have a nice heat level to it. So I've tried the Devil's Punch, so it's two below the Devil's Punch. Okay, I think we uh, didn't I try the Rose Red. Yeah, you? the Rose Red is yeah. the next one down. So this is just below the Rose. Well, not just below, but below the Rose Red. <clears throat> the Mango one, I don't think we've done yet, which is just below it. Then there's a nickel the. Nicholas Electric Elixir. I'm not sure if we've done that one. Cherry Fusion, I did, and that's just below that. Balsamic Burn is below that one, which is absolutely amazing sauce. Yeah, uh, so cool. far, I think most of them have been definitely hit. Wildfire, I've done. Polio. Yeah, I think you did Pale, that one. Why I keep calling it polio. <laughs> and then Wildfire. So, yeah. <laughs> don't get polio. You'll definitely be buffalo bound if you get polio. Okay, so I'll put this I back don't in think I'd travel to Buffalo just if I had polio. <laughs> That's true. Sounded good. But anyway, I'm excited. I like myself a good buffalo sauce. Oh, the knife is coming out. Make a nipple. Watch your eyes. Your E's and your O's too. That too. All your constants. Vowels. And consonants. It's technically a consonant. It's also a vowel. Shut up. <laughs> They're all consonants. Vowels is just a specific They're thing. not consonant. <laughs> They're consonant. Consonants? That's what I said. Consonant. <laughs> You're in consonants? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's incontinent. That is different. Yes, I'm in a continent. I'm on North America. No. <laughs> oh. oh. Didn't you just miss this? I have to convince myself that I missed this. <laughs> Does it smell like buffalo sauce? It smells. Not quite. See, buffalo sauce that I've had before is very tangy. This is... That's got, you it can smell on, the peppers. It smells a bit more mild. It smells more pepper for it, but hey, I'm all for it. The magical spoon. The 
big honking spoon. A Morgan spoon? I, I'm going to get myself like a mini spoon and bring my mini spoon with me. I'll buy myself a baby spoon for my tiny little mouth. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Oh, well, that, that's... Yep. It's a decent amount for a taste. You're going with three? Well, that's three and a half. Hey. Right. <laughs> <laughs> three and a half. Buffalo wind sauce. Cheers. Very vinegar forward. And that kind of... With the pepper forward, too. Mm-hmm. It's it's different. Got a lot of seeds in it. There is heat. It's not so bad if you give it a second. It's not so bad. It's not. Um, it's very different from a lot of the buffalo sauces I've had. Yeah, the consistency wise is similar to something like Frank's. Yes, but except for all these seeds, like yeah. I don't know if you got it. I got like three or four seeds just. In I mind. think I only had one in mine. But the way it pours is very reminiscent of Frank's. But the heat's not lasting that no, long. No, it disappears. It's burning out quick. But I'm going to guess probably habanero. Yeah, it's, it's not... I it's, got, there, there is a bit of fruity. habanero, but it's maybe maybe Trinidad in there, too. Maybe a touch. I'll look it up because I forgot to. Because I one, didn't know what we were doing. And I'll put it down below what, what peppers it is when I can find it. Because, I mean, if you're looking at... Um, oh, yeah, there's... There's a lot of, like, pepper mash yeah. and a lot of the seeds in there. It burns out very quick. It does. But it's... I'm trying to <clears throat> figure out which pepper it is. So I know that you do use a lot of ghost. Did it have it in here? Well, this is <clears throat> high enough up on the... Uh, Oh, they have the ingredients. <coughs> Vinegar, chili pepper, bell pepper, water, ghost pepper, molasses, garlic, salt. Yeah, kind of tastes the garlic. The chili pepper, I'm wondering if what we think is more habanero. Yeah, it could be. But does it doesn't really taste like ghost, though. No, maybe it might be just like a touch of ghost. Yeah. But it's not... Um, it wouldn't be bad on wings. It would be good on wings. I see why it won an award, but it's yeah. just not... You might want to thicken it up to put it on wings, though, because it's more, it'd be more just a runoff. Like it's more of a it'd be wash. like a dip. Yeah. Like you, you dip your wing. But the thing is, it's... um, I was hoping for more of like the aggressive um, vinegar taste yeah. to it. Yeah, it's more more of a marinade wash yeah. then, because if you guys can see how thin that is. You know what it kind of oddly enough reminds me of <clears throat> is some of the jerk sauces more yeah. than a buffalo sauce. Because yeah. a buffalo sauce is more tangy like in your even face. turning this upside down, it's... Yeah, it's it's very liquid. Like, if you turn tomato juice upside down, there's more left on the bottle yeah. of tomato juice. Than not saying that it's not good. Not what I expected, but it's it not saying oh, yeah, it's not good. It's definitely good. There's only been a few from the Heat from the Hammer that I've been... Kind of iffy on. on. Yeah. I well, think it was the one here. was the green sauce, because you don't tend to like the yeah, verde sauce. Yeah, the verde anyway. sauce I'm not a huge fan of. But they're all actually all been pretty good heat, good taste, just not necessarily from my liking. And the one, I don't know if it was the rosé red, the one that tasted like it was just mashed peppers, like you should have mixed it with something, I think was the rosé red. The original. Was it mashed pepper or was it just more mashed tomato? Yeah, well, it was kind of like both. It was, like, it was a little bit bland where it needed something else. Yeah. This is good. Um... I, I doesn't really remind me a lot of buffalo. Like buffalo sauce tends to be like in your face tangy yeah. and salty. This is a little bit less. But it says it's inspired by. So. It's good though, <clears throat> and I like the heat level because yeah. even though it's ghost, it's in my face. Yeah, not burning. it's there. And it, it's kind of lingering on the tongue, but it's not anything. It's a warmth, but not a burn. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, not bad. Yeah, as usual, the link for them will be below. Um, you can order there sample sauces and try all of these ones that I've been trying yes. and hopefully get hold of them and try some more. I think they probably come out with some new ones since I bought this. Probably By the time you're watching this video, they probably have a couple new ones. Yeah. Next uh, heat wave we go to or 
hot sauce festival. Yeah, we'll, we'll have have to. I think the next one's going to be uh, goat fest or ginger fest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I always get it mixed up. Got to see some fainty goats, even though that has nothing to do with it. No. Well, there might be. Depends on if they're original people to the event. They might be the goats and they might pass out. That's true. <laughs> but, yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. But, yeah. Not bad. Buffalo bound wing sauce. Like heat from the hammer. Yeah, not bad. I would give that probably about a six for taste. I was thinking a six. Maybe I'll about a five for heat. Yeah, four and a half or five because mine is dying down pretty quick. Yeah, I like it's just a tiny <clears throat> tingle in the middle of my tongue, and that's it. It's just enough that it's in there. Yeah, you know you're eating something hot, but you're you're not like dying for thirst. And I haven't had anything spicy for well, that's all I haven't. I've drank spicy stuff, <laughs> mm. but I haven't. On your vacation, I haven't eaten anything spicy probably by the time this airs. Yeah, probably a good month or so. Oh, jeez, there you go. So, yeah, so I'm a little low on this my. This is just knocking off the rust. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So yeah, we will see you next time, or I will see you next time. Who knows what it'll be? And take care. Enjoy the heat. Stay spicy, and we'll see you later. Bad. Enjoy the heat from the hammer. That would be good on like chicken nuggets or something. Because it would soak into the breading. Yeah. Like you'd have to have it soak into something. Oh yeah, you'd, you'd have to literally. You probably if they were frozen nuggets, put them in, let them oh, sit, and, it, and, then and then cook them so they cook yeah. onto it. Yeah.